Hi, my name is David Nates and welcome back to my channel, where we speak about many movie related subjects. Today's topic is how to produce a short film. Having lived in America, and more specifically Los Angeles for the past two decades, I have come up with a few simple tips that will dramatically help you in successfully producing a short film. Tip number one, have a script that fits an indie film. This means that the story that you want to tell should stay within what you can afford. Many people will tell you that you shouldn't do explosions or big VFX. Problem with that is that, well, you're kind of limiting yourself that way. The thing is, is that different people have different skills. If it's your first short film, then you will have an easier time if you stay within something reasonable. But at the same time, if your passion has always been to tinker with Adobe After Effects, then you might actually be able to pull off some pretty impressive special effects. Since everyone is able to film stuff easily in today's day and age, if you're trying to get noticed, then you better be creative and take risks. Yes, okay. The story is essential to a good film. But let's not forget that the movies that bring in the biggest box office draws are the popcorn flicks, which are super entertaining but have more plot holes than Swiss cheese. Tip number two, build a team of friends and colleagues. If you're making an indie movie, you're definitely going to put on a bunch of different hats. Thing is, movie making, it's a difficult task. It requires filming, recording, sound, actors, locations, a script, Lighting, editing, music, there's too many things that are required in order to create a film. That's why it's super important to surround yourself with like-minded people. Chances are that if you're producing your first short movie, you might even be directing it or doing sound for it. It's normal to put on different hats, but if you have too many hats on, then you might not actually be able to focus on the actual task on hand, which is making a movie. Tip number three, keep everybody happy. As a producer, you need to keep the whole crew happy as well as all the actors on set. Make them believe in the project. You are a leader, which means that everyone on this team must be excited to be there. Don't beg people to come to set. Make them want to be there. A positive attitude is very contagious, and if you can make people believe in the project, they will follow you to the end of the world. It doesn't matter what it is. Keep clear expectations. This means letting everyone on the set know how much they will be compensated for their task, or, or if they are going to be compensated at all. Let's get real. If you're a student or a young filmmaker, you're probably getting friends to help you, so nobody is getting paid. Even so, be sure to give them clear expectations and make them feel special and thank them for their help. Tip number four, have a clear goal as to what the movie is. Even if you want to go the whole festival route, be sure to have a plan. Once again, producing is making everyone believe in your project. If people feel like they are working on something special, there's more of a chance for people on the crew as well as actors to advertise your movie on their social media. Encourage everyone to share pictures and to use the right hashtags. Same goes with the whole festival route. Try to get your movie in a couple of smaller film festivals. By doing so, you won't break the bank, but this will also give you a better chance to gain nominations and awards. Tip number five, be the first one on set and the last one to leave. As a producer, you are the pillar of stability, the foundation of the movie, the psychologist of the set. A movie is a living object, and the producer is its mayor. This is why, even if the short film is ultra low budget, don't be cheap. You're going to say, but I don't have any money. How am I going to do this? Money doesn't grow on trees. Well, stop, find the money. This means you'll have to either find investors or most probably family members and friends, or even from your own pocket. I know that they say never to put in your own money, but we aren't talking about a feature film here. We're talking about a short film. This means that your short film is probably pretty cheap to make and probably will only require a DP, a director, and two, three actors, if that. Your film might only be one or two days to shoot. At this point, there's a minimum requirement of making everyone as comfortable as possible. It's as simple as providing water, a few drinks, some snacks, and a good meal. Even paying an Uber for an actor from their house and back may make a huge difference. Make everyone feel special. It seems silly to say, but you'd be surprised how many people just cannot provide the bare minimum. <laughs> just be humane and don't make your actors and crew do silly things. Lastly, as always, try to have fun. The movie industry is a very ungrateful place filled with many difficulties. 
How many other jobs do you know that pay an IMDb credit and a meal? If you're working in this field, it's most probably because you are extremely passionate about it. Otherwise, it's just much easier to have a 9-to-5 job. At least it pays you a steady income. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And as usual, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment if your heart desires. I put in a lot of effort in these videos and love making them for you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.